Welcome everybody. In the next two videos we will learn how to create courses and set up course categories so that you have a nice structure for all your beautiful courses. I just created my new Moodle Cloud site and haven't created any courses yet. Funny enough, I am on the home page, which is your landing page after you log in, and I can see one available course. Also, when I go to my personal dashboard, I can see the same course. So what happened is that Moodle automatically created an introduction course for me and enrolled me in it. That's why I can see it here. But let's not worry too much about it. Let's create our own courses. Let's create our own course categories. On the left hand side, you have a menu button that says Site Administration. And this is where you can edit and manage your entire Moodle site. If you don't see the left hand navigation, it might be hidden and you just have to click the hamburger icon here. So let's click on the site administration and we can see in the top bar a course button. Click that and you have all your important action buttons related to courses. We could simply click on add a new course and set up our first course, but we're not going to do that just yet. We rather go one step back and click on manage courses and categories. This will give you an overview of all course categories on the left hand side and courses that have been created on the right. And what do we see here? We see the course introduction to Moodle that we have seen before on our dashboard. What we can also see is that the course is in the course category miscellaneous. Because when we click on the course category, we can see all the courses of that category listed on the right and it also says miscellaneous above the course here. To be honest with you, we don't really want this course, so we're going to lead it. However, before we do that, I generally would not or never recommend deleting any courses because you might need some content again or you might want to reuse the course again after some time. Despite of what I just said, in this case, we really want to delete the course and we just click on the delete button here and confirm that we want to delete the course. Okay, having done that, before we create our courses, we will now create categories. This is important to keep courses separate and make it easy for you to find courses, especially when you have a few. You will want to have one parent category, the top category. And this can be the miscellaneous one that's already been created here. However, I want to have another name for it. So I simply click on the edit icon, select edit, and change the category name. And then scroll a little bit down and click Save Changes. So the top category is now the one that we just renamed. Let's say now I teach three different subjects. Um, math, French and uh, History. And to keep these courses nice and separate, I want to create a category for each of these subjects. To do that, you click on Create New Category and select the top category as parent category. Provide the name of the new category. So in this case, let's say math. Don't worry about the ID number and description at this stage. You can add those information later if required. Scroll a little bit down and hit create category. And you see that math is now a subcategory of your top category. Let's do the same for French and history now. Create new category. Make sure to select your top category as parent category. French as name. And click create category. And voila, French is here. One last time, this time for history, but I'll show you another way to create a subcategory. Instead of selecting create new category and then determine the parent category, we can directly go to the parent category and click on create new subcategory. This will then automatically select the parent category here. This time history and create category. Now you have your three subjects nicely separated, but let's say I have courses for different months of the year. So I want to create subcategories for each subject again. Very easy as we did before, we click on create new subcategory and 
we're going to say, for example, for the January class, create category. So you can create all these categories and subcategories however you need them. So I have created a few subcategories for the month and then also divided them into morning and afternoon classes, just so that you don't get confused with all the courses that you might have. If you like, you can also delete categories. Just make sure that you don't have any courses in the category, which we don't have at the moment. So you click again on the edit icon and select delete. This will then show you this category is empty, so there are no courses inside. And you click delete, continue, and that particular category is gone. What you can also do is move categories around. So you just select the category and choose where you want the category to be moved. So in this case, we want French all the way up to the top. So we select top and click on move. And we can see the category hierarchy changed accordingly. You have teacher and student, which was our top category with math and history inside. And French is its own top category. All these little graduation cap icons show you that the categories don't hold any courses yet. Obviously, because we haven't created any courses yet. But we will do so in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.